it was in 2019, the Mayor met with local residents and community groups in Mossside Fire Station. It was a meeting to discuss um, the needs of their community. And what came out loud and clear in that meeting was that any activity should be co-designed with local residents and should be community-led. I remember saying to Bev afterwards, that is something really <laughs> huge about that, that the community itself is saying, no, give us, empower us. Because actually, the truth of the matter is, the knowledge about dealing with violence in any community is in the community, isn't it? So we're having this meeting here today to bring the Mayor and Deputy Mayor here to meet the local community groups that have been funded as part of an alliance across Mossside, Musham and Hume as part of the community-led approaches programme. A lot of our staff are from the community, so a lot of them, most, the majority of them, grew up through Hideaway as well. So it's like we are, we are the heart of the community, everyone knows us. Um, but we do a lot with them, like the, the, the families who've lost a child to violence, especially in this kind of community. Um, and it's been nice to see the impact of that because then I've been like, has it made a difference? And the feedback has pretty much been, yeah, don't know what we'd have done without you. There, there are a lot of challenges, but there are a lot of great, great things in this community and great human beings and great, uh, great potential. When we look at this nationally, we're booking the trend on, on this approach. 75% of our budget is on interventions. So we've absolutely prioritised that, you know, we put our, our money where our mouth is absolutely on those issues. Um, my role was to kind of, when, when this alliance was being formed, to make sure that those organisations, as Arnold mentioned, you know, in the heart of the community, we don't miss them out. Sometimes those bigger ones might be the ones you immediately turn to. So for us, we know that those smaller ones as well do such fantastic work. The youth around there want to be engaged, they need to be engaged, or you start to see it spill out onto the streets, it's inevitable. We don't just have a drop-in session, we deliver sessions at a time and a day with the staff that are needed for the person that's put in front of us, and we're getting way more referrals from people from young carers, people with additional needs, people with really complex needs, so that's been really good. We're working with girls who are inactive uh, from the area, and we're going to where they are and kind of asking them what they want to do and then providing that support. Listening to the challenges and also the successes of some of the projects that we are running. So I'm, I'm really happy and excited by today's initial meeting and hopefully many more in the future. Something exciting is happening here and I've heard the call for flexibility and the trust. It's about trust, isn't it? Trust us. We know, don't wrap us up with things that, I, I absolutely get that, so I do trust you all. So that is heard. You've actually done a great job and you know, you're, you're conveying how you're, you're linking in, slotting what each of you do best for the benefit of a particular young person or a group of young people and, and that's actually what what you wanted to achieve and what we wanted to achieve. I, I think Michael and the, and the people in the VR, you have given the, the platform for us to help you do that, but actually it, it, it's you that, that's done it. And it's just absolutely brilliant. It's really important to get positive feedback because we very rarely get that. Um, we, we're too busy as small organisations. We're on the ground, we're working away, doing what we do best and to hear positive feedback from people in the power and people who fund us is more important than people perhaps realise and recognise. So I'm really interested in this idea about the community writing its own story from here on in, you know, not having other people write it, because the assets that you've got, well, many of them are in the room, the boxing club, I'm glad the boxing club are really, you know, because I'm a big supporter of theirs as well, I'm really pleased that you're, you're knitting in with them in the way that you, the way that you are. The thing here is, let the community write a different story for the next 40 years. You've had 40 years of other people telling you what Marseille is like or what Hume's like. And so that's what I'm interested about here. It was wonderful to give Andy and Bev an opportunity to actually come out and see projects in action, speak to the people involved in them. The first chance we got to do it, uh, we've, we've really embraced that and I think you can see for yourself that Andy and Bev really enjoyed hearing about it.